luckily you are actually fulfilling that by hiring people like Hunter S. Thompson and Sarah McFadden, yeah. who, who really lived up to that kind of a profile, even though we gave Hunter Thompson a pistol to shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Blanks, which he kept complaining about because, you know... Because it, it didn't have enough recoil. Exactly. A, a real gun just as a bang, bang. What is that? You know, I need a... Can we get some live ammunition? I need the recoil. I remember right. And the, I can remember the director, John Francis, going... I thought he was going to be hospitalized. Could you fake the recoil? <laughs> <laughs> Thompson's like, no. <laughs> what do you know about guns? You can't fake a recoil. <laughs> yeah, Hunter was marvelous that way. He could be. I remember know, he, he didn't show up at the shoot. Right. <laughs> and I remember we going the, over to the some gun hotel. Range at, it, was yeah. at, it was at the pistol range out at the, um, at the, the Presidio. And, and you and I went over to get him at some hotel. Yes. And he was inside and we could hear the shower running. <laughs> And you and you were going, Hunter, this is your publisher. <laughs> and he's like, I'm coming. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got it. Hunter had a had a habit of uh when he traveled for the paper, he uh had kind of an an expense account methodology that was different. He it had to be arranged in advance that the hotel had an open billing arrangement with the newspaper, or I'm not going. <laughs> So we would try to say, well, you know, that how could mean open, almost how anything. Open, it could mean anything. I remember when uh, Warren Hinkle went to work for Francis Coppola. Francis told me later, I gave him an unlimited expense account, and he went over it. <laughs> <laughs> we were we was always hope, hoping Hunter would go below the unlimited expense account, but uh, I got a call. Uh, I think Jim Severins was the general manager. Said, you know, that's the Carlisle Hotel. It's about Mr. Thompson. <laughs> see, is there anything? Is he, does he, doesn't he like the room? <laughs> and the uh, manager of the hotel was explaining to me that Hunter had bought a uh, inflatable sex doll at some shop on 42nd Street and hurled it out of the 12th floor of the Carlisle. And it looked like a suicide and landed in the middle of Madison Avenue. And cars were stopping. And I was thinking, what should I do? Well, has anyone been hurt? Okay, well, then we should retrieve the doll. And, uh, tell everyone to calm down. Everything will be fine. Carry on. Yes, exactly. Well, after we shot those commercials, that day was crazy because I thought he would shoot somebody. I thought he was yeah. going to hurt somebody. Yeah. He wasn't really all there. He did a very strange thing to one of the PAs where he sawed off the, the sleeves of some jacket she had lent him to be in the shoot. And, and he just took a knife out and sawed these things off and threw the whole thing back. It was re really yeah. awful. So, so after, he, he, after all of this crazy shit, we have the Examiner Christmas party a few weeks later or something, and, and he's there, and he's in like a yellow suit. I can remember this, and he's got a cigarette holder and everything someplace up on Pacific Heights, and, uh, and he's just a totally different person. He's like, that was such fun. That was so great. How did it come out? I yeah. thought it was going to be great. <laughs> Yeah. I feel like, is this the same man? Yeah, he, he was a complicated person, but there's no doubt that, that he would occasionally get himself into a mood where he just wanted to push it yeah. and make other people feel uncomfortable. And he, he wasn't happy until he had gotten it well, right that, there. On the day of that shoot at the Presidio, I, I didn't come for the first hour or so. And my partner, Andy Bruin, called me up and he said... Uh, you gotta come out here. You gotta come out here. And I said, well, 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 "What's up?" He said, um, "You know how you, you know how you think Hunter Thompson is like really fun to hang around with, crazy but fun to hang around with. Well, he's crazy, but he's an asshole." <laughs> and I said, "Okay." So I go out there, and Hunter's there, and Hunter, and he says he won't read the script. And so I go over and I, and I say to Hunter, "So what's what's the problem with the script?" And he's like. Who wrote this? And, you know, <laughs> as being one of the people that wrote it, I did not answer that question. <laughs> so, so I said, uh, well, let's just try to fix it. So, so you have a problem with the ending? He said, yeah, this is a stupid line. What, who wrote this? And I said, and just, let's just try to fix it. I said, so what would you like to say? And he said, I would like to say, we will chase them like rats across the tundra. <laughs> right. And he did. <laughs> yeah, and he did, and it was in the commercial. <laughs> yeah, absolutely right. Looking for Hunter Thompson. Hi, I'm uh, Will Hurst. Hello. 
Well, uh, I'm the new publisher of the San Francisco Examiner. Hey, I love you. Well, I was hoping you'd want to write something for us. Why not? We will chase them like rats across the tundra. The next generation at the San Francisco Examiner.